The third scrimmage of the year for Montana State was really uh, the most game-like of any of the scrimmages they've had thus far in the spring, and I think that's got to be promising for the offense, especially considering it was by far the best work I've seen them do this spring, maybe as, as, as long as I've covered the team uh, through, through last season. It was the first time the team has committed zero turnovers uh, in a game-like situation since I've been here, and, that, and that's really the, the biggest thing for the offense. It wasn't so much that they made spectacular plays, although they did make some spectacular plays. It was just the fact that they had more opportunities to make those, those big plays. They had the opportunity when you hold on to the football to, to get second and third chances to come up with a big play, and they did today. Uh, running the football, Blade Beckstead had a couple, couple long runs, one 30-yard score. C.J. Palmer also had, had a 30-plus yard score. Each of them come up with over 70 yards on the ground uh, between 30 carries. Between them, it's, it's, it's about uh, 160 yards on the ground, very effective ground. For, for Mark Giddens, his first real crack at being the number one guy, it's a solid day. Uh, 160 yards, I believe, 17 to 25, throwing the football. You, you can't complain about that, especially with, with no interceptions and the way the offense performed. Uh, as far as catching the ball, even though the you know the Montana State's down some bodies that had guys today step up, guys like Ian Nelson, guys like Ralph Cornelius, guys like Shane Robeson, uh, guys all catching the football and, and, and making something happen today, and and that that's very promising to see for the offense, especially an offense that, that, that's had some trouble, uh, you know, had its, its doubts kind of throughout uh, the spring season uh, to really kind of come to fruition in, in that game. It was something that they're very excited about. So. Key, you could see we're, we're a little bit frustrated with the way things were going from their perspective that day and, and really came on and made some plays late. Uh, one of the kids I, I talked to after practice, Jason Diablo, one of the new defensive tackles, came and made a few plays uh, stopping C.J. Palmer up the middle, stopping Blade Beckstead up the middle a little bit. And, is that Mark Edens can be the guy. You know, he wasn't outstanding by any stretch of the imagination, but he was, he was exactly what the Bobcats needed him to be today. He was a guy that went out there and, and, and went, through his, uh, you know, went through his reads, found the open man, took some chances down the field, and, and took some good chances. I mean, obviously from the zero interceptions, you can see that they were calculated risks, and, and, and there were big plays. You know, Derek Green catches a big pass over the middle. Joe Schreibeis comes up with a big catch over the middle. And, you know, throwing the ball, in the middle of the field, deep like that, that, those are sometimes dangerous areas to put passes. And I thought that Idens did a great job of protecting the football, taking the chances when, uh, when they were there, and uh, just played all around solid football today. The offensive line has been one of the most dominating groups on either side of the football throughout the, the spring here for the Bobcats. And, and uh, today was no different. So they opened up holes for for both Beckstead and Palmer to run through. And uh, I mean, that's what they did last year as well. It opened up a lot of holes for Demetrius Crawford. A lot of that's uh, Crawford's athletic ability, but a lot of that is, is this talented offensive line. And I only think they're getting better. I think you've got more experience now up front with, with guys like uh, Mike Hansen, or Jeff Hansen and, and, and Mike Pearson coming back. Uh, guys like Alex Terrian with a little bit of experience under their belt. You know, you even see Conrad Burbank go down late in that scrimmage. And they don't miss a beat. Uh, the, this group uh, has has some depth, have some experience that they weren't necessarily in complete control of last year. 